Hi, my name is Ronik Patel and I'm a board certified orthopedic surgeon specializing in knee and shoulder injuries in patients of all ages. Today I'm going to talk to you about the rotator cuff. So the rotator cuff is a group of four muscles that surrounds the shoulder girdle. In the front we have the subscapularis, over the top we have the supraspinatus, and then as we work our way to the back we have the infraspinatus and teres minor. Each one of these shoulder muscles and tendons performs a different function. Some allow you to raise your arm, some allow you to rotate it internally or towards your stomach, and some allow you to rotate it out or behind you. Rotator cuff is important for function of the shoulder and typically injuries can happen chronically as well as acutely. We divide rotator cuff injuries into two broad categories, acute or traumatic tears, as well as the second category which is chronic or more degenerative tears. Chronic or degenerative tears are un, not uncommon and it can happen in many patients over the age of 60 years of age. These tears typically can be treated conservatively with physical therapy or anti-inflammatories along with the physical therapy. Oftentimes, they can also be managed with injections along with the physical therapy. The acute or traumatic tears typically benefit from surgical correction. Given that the tendon was torn off the bone in an acute fashion, surgical correction is usually recommended. In this setting, the tendon is repaired down to the bone arthroscopically and then protected for a period of uh, four to six weeks post-surgically. After that, physical therapy uh, allows for restoration of motion and function and a resolution of pain. Rotator cuff tears are not uncommon. If you've suffered a rotator cuff tear, please do not hesitate to reach out to us.